Yo, what is going on, Guardians? PvE Man here, and today I'm breaking down the best loadout for farming Master Catch. There's so many good weapons that can be crafted in this activity. You got the Scout, Sidearm, and Linear Fusion that can roll with Vault Shot, and the Stasis Slug pairs so well with Shade Binder thanks to Puglist and Headstone. And overall, these weapons just have great perk options. So I really wanted to create a loadout that can help me melt through Master Catch crashes as quickly and reliably as possible. I also wanted to create a loadout that's really strong at not only supporting my teammates, but making sure I'm self-sufficient as well. And that's because I'm normally LFGing to farm these, so you never really know how reliable your teammates are going to be. So let's break down the build, and then I'll let a full run play through where we actually got the triumph for all fire team members not dying. Which was kind of funny because we weren't really going for it, but it goes to show how strong this build is. Now this build all starts with Risk Runner on a Solar Warlock. This activity was literally made for Risk Runner. You're taking in so much arc damage that you can keep arc conductor going throughout most of the run. It seriously helps with both damage resistance and output. I then pair this with a Succession in the Kinetic and a Commemoration in the Heavy. Obviously there's anti-barrier champs so Succession really helps there, and Commemoration not only will stun overloads but also clears the void shielded servitors in the boss room. My commemoration does have reconstruction on it, which helps so much since I don't need to spend time reloading. For the exotic armor, I'm going with Starfire Protocol. Having a second fusion grenade is great for clearing adds or melting champs and doing boss damage. I'm also pairing this with an elemental well build. I'm using melee well maker and elemental ordnance to spawn wells with my melee and grenade. And I'm also using bountiful wells to spawn double wells and font of wisdom to help regen my super faster. Basically, I'm spawning elemental wells left and right and it's all feeding right back into my abilities across the board. Moving on to the aspects, we got touch of flame and Icarus dash. Touch of Flame beasts up the Fusion Grenades pairing well with Starfire, and Icarus Dash really does help avoiding danger and honestly just increases the speed of the activity. For the Fragments we have Ember of Torches, great for making myself and everyone radiant, and we also have Ember of Eruption, Char, and Ashes which all contribute to add clear and making lots of explosions. So that is the build, you can obviously make your own variation of this, and I'll post a dim link down in the pinned comment below. If this build helps you clear a master catch, definitely give it a like, and feel free to sub to the channel if you haven't done so already. With that being said, let's watch through a full run to see this build in action, and enjoy your days.